بسم الله الحمد لله نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم ما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, as uh, most of you know that this project was on our master plan for the longest time uh, we tried uh, we discussed uh, with, within the within the council uh, several years uh, where to put it after the clinic was burned unfortunately uh, so that was the original plan that was there i think probably 8 10 years ago maybe uh when brother imran nathani was the was the ad so uh, alhamdulillah we engaged with uh, the architect to get some ideas but behind all of this the main motivation where we where, where we are right now is because of uh, brother madina and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him for his uh, generosity he came forward and he committed to build the whole building and his team uh, brother smile and his all the builder who is inshallah working here uh so that's 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 the catalyst that really took us where we are right now so please please remember brother madina uh, his family with a smile and the whole group in your duas because this is a very long term very high impact project so uh, inshallah that we will be undertaking so uh without further ado i would like to invite so we i know we are kind of late some of those were here at 3:30 my apologies to <laughs> those i think i sent my message late So uh so we call this uh, Masjid Al Salam of course ISGH uh, clinic building but we will name it as Madina clinic of course it has some background plus Madina is always in our hearts either way as a person and as a place as well so inshallah we this will be an official name for that so brother Iman please come and say a few words inshallah so plan and after this we will go and do the uh, breaking ground breaking uh, maybe some pictures and you know السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ونواله اللهم بارك لنا في جميعنا هذا والله بلس أور جاذرين والله أكسب فرم أسيا رحمن يا رحيم جزاكم الله خير I know this is a smaller gathering not an open invitation gathering but سبحان الله when it comes to the growth of the community and the growth of the much needed services in our community it's humbling to see how we've evolved over time subhanallah when three people came together to purchase this land a little bit of background here in history uh, at the time the muslim community around this area were thinking we need a small masjid a 13 acre was bought 95000 right many at the time did not see have the foresight to say you know this is where we see our community in 20 years like we just needed small place you bought a 13 acre that was basically farmland mm. now what a trailer was put in the front and they started praying on that trailer when it rains there's mud all over the place if we bought a smaller land we would have had a better place Subhanallah fast forward masjid is built soccer field is built facility expansion is here islamic school is here and we're already running out of space we're talking about extra parking we're talking about what are we going to do next and alhamdulillah part of the master plan of this community has been to have this social services location that's going to host not only a clinic but also mental health kind of services and other services much needed in our community alhamdulillah and that vision is being realized through generous donors like the medina and family may allah be pleased with them and accept their efforts elevate their status and make this a sadaqa jariya continuous charity for them a legacy to stay behind inshallah bi'idhnillah ta'ala 
So that being said, uh, Alhamdulillah, there, is, there are a lot of plans for the community. It's going to take the entire community to come together, fully utilize this facility. That's the commitment that we have for our generous donors, inshallah, that we will work very hard to make sure the utilization of this service in this building, inshallah, will be maximized. Now, now that I know you're an outgoing associate director, Jazakallah khair for six years of service, and whoever comes on board, we have this succession plan in place to make sure that business continues as usual. So we ask Allah to accept from you, accept from Brother Medina and family. Uh, our dear brother Ismail, there's a lot of work ahead of us, inshallah. May Allah put barakah. Also, not to forget Brother Imad, Jazakallah Khair, uh, head of the construction committee here, and the construction committee members, mashallah, some of whom are here. May Allah be pleased with them. Brother Kafil Jameel, Jazakallah Khair for the, all the master plan work that's taken place here. Our Imam is here, mashallah, Sheikh Mamdouh, and his religious leadership in the community. And all of us here, alhamdulillah, from the administration and otherwise. So with that, we just say, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah in this effort. Keep it in your dua, inshallah, your sincere dua. And inshallah, advocate on behalf of this project and on behalf of the services that are coming our way, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair, may Allah put barakah in this effort. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, we just uh, came from uh, the uh, downtown Palestinian uh, demonstration all the way here to make sure we are part of this great uh, um, event, inshallah, may Allah bless this community with it. It's something that we are, uh, we really need. Uh, one of the things that we have been looking at the last few years is uh, our community need uh, a lot of uh, support with health, mental health. I saw some of the plans, there's going to be a dental um, clinic in there as well. So uh, so anyways, I'm just here to uh, uh, thank you all, everyone who's been part of it, and just say uh, uh, IGH will, will give whatever is needed. Uh, administration, this is all IGH. You know, some people always say IGH versus us, whatever, we're all IGH, mm -hmm. but our administration, inshallah, will do whatever is needed to make sure this is a successful project. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Jazakumullah khair, Brother Basil. And again, so he's also, this is his last term, so please make dua for Brother Basil. So he's completed his six years. Uh, so we both are, inshallah, retiring. Uh, so... <laughs> it's uh, it's one-way ticket, Brother Madden. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> So uh, I would like to invite Sister uh, Dr. Uzma. Uh, she is she's a part of Shifa USA, uh, the clinic that we run here, and she has few words to say. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. I uh, I stand stand here very humbled uh, because there's a lot of effort every one of you has put in, and I I don't stand here because of that, but I stand here because I want to represent uh, all the sisters. Uh, that are out there in the workforce and all the amazing women that support all the men here and everywhere else so that the community moves on. So uh, with, with the blessing, and I'm a physician myself, so I can tell you uh, that uh, this donation is very well needed and this effort is very well needed. Houston is one of the most uh, diverse, underserved, uh, you know, uh, healthcare-wise access is very, very difficult and there are really people who need this access point for coming and getting because you know a stronger community is definitely a better community uh, and healthy community is and that's uh, ordained on us from uh, our you know our religion as well so with that on behalf of all the physicians and all the sisters and the community jazakallah khair for everyone's effort and may Allah accept from all of us Jazakallah khair, Dr. Uzma. Uh, the last, before we do the inshallah ceremony, Dr. Arif, please. A few words, inshallah. Uh, I know, so we have uh, Dr. Arif with us on a different side of it, but uh, he's always here helping us uh, as much as possible. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum. I'm sorry, I feel really, really humble. I'm, I wasn't supposed to say anything, but brother, he has just pulled me up on it. But anyway, I just wanted to say I've been a member of this community for about 45 years. And uh, I have lived most of my life in this country as opposed to coming from back home. And seeing the efforts of everyone around, you know, I mean, everybody makes an effort. Everybody works hard. But the bottom line is who is able to cooperate with each other. That's what it is. 
we all know that ego is a big part of everything. And that's what brings the fitna into everything. But cooperation between each other is the biggest thing that we could ask for. And thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for all of us. Jazaka khair khair for Brother Medina. You have made an astounding effort to put this up. And may Allah reward you and your family for everything. All those people that work around, I'm one of the lowest to the lowest workers, so my contribution is very little. But with your presence, I stand high and tall. Uh, I didn't talk to Brother Medina, if he wants to say a few words. It's up to you, Brother Medina. Uh, just, uh, just a background uh, with, uh, with this center. I moved uh, uh, to Houston in 95. I was working as a consultant at the farm pack. I think I see Brother uh, Mirza and all, they're all working there. Uh, so I still remember we praying in the conference room, uh, Friday prayer, okay. And then I moved on uh, from Compact to uh, uh, start my own company. And uh, so, uh, so I, I, I'm pretty much uh, stay out of the Houston, uh, but my family, my son is there. Uh, he is a very regular, but uh, I'm mostly in uh, Washington, D.C. because of my business. Uh, one thing I, in this community, I know a lot of uh, families I met, they don't have insurance. Okay, so I think uh, uh, when I heard that uh, that uh, your clinic was burned down, so I did uh, talk to brother and say, uh, can I take this one? I think there was not the last Ramadan, the Ramadan before. So we are already two years behind, actually. So, uh, but it's came uh, back and uh, brother uh, Imad has uh, been in touch with me uh, because it's very hard to get hold of me because I'm always traveling. <laughs> so uh, I just want to uh, thank uh, all the doctors. Uh, this Mirza just told me that you guys only providing services on Sunday. Uh, my request is if you guys can do one more day. Uh, I know you're all... Yes, so uh, that's all. That's my request. Thank you very much. So inshallah, uh, we will inshallah move forward. Uh, so the idea is we will inshallah go this way. That's the entrance we have. And we will inshallah do the groundbreaking. Sheikh, please. Uh, alaykum wa rahmatullah. Brother Nader want me to make dua only, but I cannot resist the mic. So <laughs> I'm going to give, inshallah, one minute. Uh, there is a history and religion, history and the deen in this. Number one, of course, one of the best ways of doing sadaqa jariya is healing, is istishfa or shifa. In Arabic, the hospital or the clinic called mustashfa or mashfa. They used to call it bimaristan, you know, bimar, bimar, yani sickness. Was standing in the place that to heal sickness, right? And it started as early as Umayyad, the first hospital actually made, nine centuries before the first uh, hospital in Paris, Europe, nine centuries before it was in in in, uh, in the Islamic state, and it was a small hospital based on the departments, the skin, the uh, internal problems, uh, bones, uh, all, all of that. They were over there. And then it continued until the uh, 580 of Hijra or so, there was the first medical center in Baghdad. Maybe many do not know that. Uh, the historian said that was like a small town which revolving around the medical services. So what, what we know now as a medical town or a medical center was first found in uh, 580 of Hijra. So that's also something that we should be proud of as well. And there was waqf for it. Yani waqf, yani like what Brother Medina did, he said, this is my money to do a clinic, right? To do a clinic. So all the people will come and benefit from that. Also, one of the practices in Europe, when they made the hospital, a sick person would come and they will put all of them in the same uh, ward, regardless of their problems. But the Arabs did not do that. Even the, 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 the habit or the practice of changing your clothes, taking all the clothes off and giving them some clean clothes, that's an Islamic principle that was done in Baghdad as well. So most of those practices, and they had both a static medical center means stable, like the one that we are building, and something which is moving, mobile. And it used to be carried on 40 camels. 40 camels with all the tools and everything. What they call it now is what, like mobile hospitals? 
So all of this, I wanted just to bring some perspective for everybody to be proud that we are doing something which is the heritage of Islam from the Prophet Sallallahu down. Now, what did the Prophet say when the people used to come and said, is there any problem that we seek medication in this? We used to do this. The Prophet Sallallahu said, Allah. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمْ يَخْلُقْ دَاءً إِلَّا جَعَلَ لَهُ دَوَاءً Go ahead and seek healing and seek shifa. Allah did not create a single disease without its remedy. Some people will know it, some people will not. So this is just something I wanted to, you know, bring as perspective to everybody, as to Brother Mayra, to the Masjid, to everything, that you are doing something which is part of our heritage as Muslims, that we are proud of and we continuing this uh, generations of helping the others, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, we are proud that we are at Masjid Salam. We always start good stuff and everybody follows. And I hope, inshallah, with your, you know, uh, uh, example that everybody start following it. This is something that I personally be proud of because there are Muslims and non-Muslims who come to our uh, clinic and they uh, get the service. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this in the balance of your deed and balance of everybody here and all the doctors and the medical uh, professionals who come and give from their time and effort inshallah. اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى اللهم اكتب لهذا المشروع النجاح يا رب العالمين اللهم اكتب لهذا المشروع خير النجاح يا رب العالمين وخير التوفيق يا رب العالمين ووفقنا واستخدمنا لما تحبه وترضاه واجعلنا في أحمد الأمور إليك وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد والحمد لله رب العالمين جزاكم الله خيرا يا الله رواردي So inshallah, uh, let's go inshallah at the back. Uh, inshallah, then we'll do the groundbreaking. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> 